We've seen the absolute best of British this week. Pomp, pageantry, history, ritual, remembrance, class, respect, and, yes, queuing. We love queuing in Britain. We're the best at queuing, I would say, in the entire world. It's what sets us apart from the rabble. There are those who jostle and snarl in sweaty mobs. I've just been in France. And there are those, like us Brits, who politely stand in line and wait our turn. Hundreds of thousands of people are doing just that, even as I speak, to pay their final respects to our late Queen. It's a queuing masterclass. They've come from far and wide with deck chairs, flowers, sleeping bags, sandwiches and camaraderie. Some are waiting eight hours to file past the coffin and say a final personal goodbye to the only monarch most of us have ever known. And what's been striking about the faces in that queue is their diversity. Every colour, every race, every faith, every age, every class. Queen Elizabeth meant something to all of them. It's a reality check for those who think of Britain as a disunited, racist hellhole, packed with bigots and bad attitudes. There's actually a lot that's still great about this country and a lot that brings us together. And the royal family is most definitely one of those things. And so do good queues. But sadly, not for the first time, our MPs have spectacularly missed the mood. Incredibly, they've each been handed a pass so that they and four family and friends can skip the entire queue and just move to the front like a VIP express lane at the airport. But needless to say, cleaners, caterers and other workers in Parliament have been afforded no such privilege. There are people in that line who've literally flown in from as far as America and Australia just to be there. The MP's behaviour is rank entitlement and, frankly, a royal slap in the face to ordinary members of the public. Why do MPs think they're better than the rest of us? If you want to pay your respects, members of Parliament, well, get in line with everybody else. Well, I'm joined now by political journalist Ava Santina, Talk TV international editor Isabel Oakshot, and former First Minister of Scotland, Alex Salmond. So welcome to all of you. Alex Salmond, <coughs> there are lots of privileges of being an MP. I don't think skipping one of the most egalitarian queues in history, where you are all the same, should be one of the privileges afforded MPs. I think any member of parliament who took advantage of the family and friends four passes must have taken leave of their senses. Now, I mean, I'm, I was in a fortunate position. A, I'm not a member of parliament. B, B, I was able to pay my respects to St Giles Cathedral on Monday. But an MP would have to be conscious of the miles-long queue and, and even if offered the opportunity, would say, no, no, I'll either queue with my constituents or I'll pay my respects in another way. And it would reflect so well on them if they had, but we saw, I think, we've seen Theresa May in there today, Angela Rayner from the Labour Party. They're all skipping the queue from what we can make out. So you think it's wrong? Well, I, I think it's wrong, but I also think it's, it's, it's not good politics. I mean, you would have thought the, uh, an MP could have done worse than be in the queue. Right. I mean, think, I, mean I saw you know, priests, ministers, lots of people in the queue helping people queuing, but also getting the opportunity to talk I to just had a, I just had a message from my old Good Morning Britain co-host, uh, Susanna Reid, into her sixth hour of queuing mm. with the British people, with her mother and a friend, and I thought, good on her. You know, Look, I well. have to come in here. Look, this is absolute pompous twaddle. Seriously, they are members of Parliament. The Houses of Parliament is their workplace. Why should they not take advantage of the fact that that is where why they Why should they not have to uh, queue up like the rest of the British public? Because they've got, I'll tell you why. Because, because they've got a job to do. Because we pay their salaries. So you would rather... I'll tell you what, they, we pay their salaries, literally it's, pay it's their absolutely salaries. absolutely nothing to do with it. Everything would you, to do would with you it. literally prefer... Why are they, why are they somehow more important than the rest of Would you prefer that they wasted their time spending hours standing around rather than dealing with constituents? No, but they're, they're, they're not business. actually dealing with anything at the moment because Parliament isn't sitting. Well, and they've got their constituency work carries on. They've literally done five days of official constituency. parliamentary work since the start of the summer. These people have hardly done any work. Yeah. Well, well, I can also say that the, the Queen, Her Majesty the late Queen, wouldn't mind if somebody couldn't, because of pressure of work, queue for five hours. She honestly would not have minded. There are many ways you can pay respect. If you're able to queue for five hours, if you feel you must do it, that's a great thing to do. But you don't, you don't have to do it. Right. And let me ask you two, right, especially you, who've come out of the traps flying, yeah. because I'm led to believe you yourself have skipped this queue. This is going to be framed and, really badly. And so have you, right? This is going to be so framed both, in a way... You've both been in. But it didn't happen. Well, no, no, I don't mind... If you want to defend I yourselves... I didn't go in because I care particularly about the, the monarchy or the Queen. I went in because it's my job to cover things. That's, right. I went in to assess the mood and then come on here and talk about it and tell you okay. what I think of and it. And Isabel? But I am not even remotely feeling defensive about this. I think you're 
you're being absolutely You ridic- didn't queue at all, right? I think you are being absolutely ridiculous. Mm. I am a journalist. It is my job to bear witness to these things. Day in, day out, people mm-hmm. like Ava and me are on shows like this talking about the mood, talking about what's going on. How can we do that from an ivory tower? In did fact, your, you have neglected your, your partner, duty as, right. a, as, a, did as your, a presenter did to Did your partner, be there. Richard Tice, a very good friend of this show and yes. a great uh, a pundit on here, did he do what you did and skip the line? No, he didn't. He and I am up, very right? proud of him and his decision. How many hours but did he line up He for? is a politician. Um, I'm, a, I'm exactly. a journalist. He's so a politician. He's a, so he had even more reason. He could have easily skipped him. No, he no, chose no. not to. Because... He's not an no, MP. No, no, he he's not yeah. an MP. Well, okay. He's a politician. But, but let me say... I bet he could have done exactly what you did. Let me say said, he would in. not have done that because he and I differ on this. Why do you he... think you're better than the British public? Seriously. I don't oh, think I'm better. On. I think that I've got a job to do. <laughs> no, I'm not saying... Come on. Come I don't on. see... Why should the British public be queuing for eight hours in actually a lot of hardship? I've done that shit. And you, and we have, a, we have actually that. a former first lead, leader of, of Minister of Scotland agreeing this is a very bad optic for politicians. And you two but it's where they have were. the brass I've neck to say, no, 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 we shouldn't be queuing like the public. I've this been interviewing a... on the queue for, for hours. I've put in more than an eight-hour shift over the last few days. I've yeah, been down great. in Westminster more than the Queen herself. Like, <laughs> How can you I... report on something properly, Piers, if you don't take advantage of seeing it? Now, I don't think you my time... You don't have to go there to see what's going course, on. Course, well, course, well, you have to tell the... You're just sitting you seen, in a studio. What have you seen that wasn't on television? Well, should I not go to the food banks to see how they look in real life either? Should I just read about it it's online? Ridiculous. Like, obviously, when a big event so you have, happens, neither you go of you have and you any, report on any, it. any qualms about the fact that there are people there who are in the 80s and 90s. They don't have to do it. Exactly. No one has to do Nobody it. Nobody has the to do way, it. You've just explained the, why you did hang it. Hang on, you've just explained why it would have been a good idea for you to go down there, because then you would know that anyone in a wheelchair does not have to do that. Because I was there, I you're actually not in a saw how it worked. You're not in a wheelchair. Yeah, but your argument just collapsed. You're a you completely said, able-bodied you said, human being. You said, why should people you're have to do that? You're perfectly fit to be queuing, Piers, and you chose not to. Piers, you, you just said, couldn't be bothered, even you, though your own partner is. I said that I have got other things to do in relation to my day job, which is being a journalist, which is... You don't think everybody else has other things to do? Well, they've chosen to be there. It's they've not their job to, to be there. They've chosen to prioritise, well, pay respect to I, the Queen. That's not what I would do Every, with listen, my time. Isabel, everyone's doing the same thing. Everyone's there yeah. to you know, pay this, their respects to the Queen. The you just don't act. think you should have yeah. to queue. This man of the people act, Piers, I'm not buying into it. Really? One of, the, one of the few times that I've seen you socially, you were at the Arsenal match. You were in the Diamond Club. Yep. You were not slumming it with the people. You were not in the cheap seats. You were in the Diamond yeah, Club. And you know so that because you sat drop, next to me. Let's drop this. Yeah, I didn't act. avoid. I didn't avoid any cues let, to the Diamond Club. Well, of course you. Of course I didn't you get did. parachuted in. You get the parachuted into the nicest bit of the I, stadium. You know what? I've I've been on the case I'm of just the MPs. Not buying into All right. This. Listen. We, we, let's move on from that. But Alex, I want to talk to you about this issue which I had yesterday. Again, about MPs, I think it's ridiculous to have the party conference season now and they all go off on recess for another 26 days. The Speaker of the House, Lindsay Hoyle, has just come out and agreed with me. And he says they should cut the time of the party conferences. He'd like to see them return on Tuesday, 11th of October, rather than the following week. I'd like to see them completely cancelled. What's your view? Well, I, I, th- I think this uh, idea of coming back this in the autumn, it was. I think Robin Cook introduced it because he was worried about the long recess. This idea of coming back for a couple of weeks then go off at the party conference was always a bit daft. I, I'm not certain that having MPs in Parliament is, is the greatest thing on earth anyway. I mean, you know, I think if they concentrated a bit more on what they were saying... Yeah, but we all know there, party conference but, season is a lot of but, hot air but, and a lot of drinking, but isn't it? Well, yeah, no, well, they're meant to do other things like make policy and stuff like that. But, look... I'm not. I would certainly wouldn't say you should confer, cancel the party conference season because uh, of the Queen's death, and I, I think far too much has been cancelled. And I also think the Queen would have said that. Yeah. I mean, last Saturday they cancelled or they postponed the St Ledger. Now, anybody on this earth who believes that Her Majesty the Queen would have wanted to see the, oh, the St Ledger night, postponed, the one that got me was the last night of the proms. How could you possibly not think it, that thousands of people? Singing Land of Hope and Glory and the national anthem while waving flags would not be an appropriate way to pay tribute to it. Yes, her. I might have missed out Land of Hope and Glory, but never mind. They, <laughs> they, 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 you know, the, the whole point is you have to judge the person. Now, the day that she died, the day after she died, yes, of course. Mm. The day of the funeral, yes, of course. Mm. But a cancellation, I mean, I don't I agree. condemn I mean, was, people the because was, the they're show, trying to do their the best. The Queen was all about the show must go on. Yeah, I, I don't think she, I think she would have thought for the totally, day of the funeral, completely. I'm totally in agreement with that. 
Let, let's is talk that, about... Yeah, go on. Can, no, can I just get this clear? Are they now saying they're going to come back on the 11th of October? Because, just to be clear, the Conservative Party conference ends on the 3rd or the 4th of October. Mm -hmm. So there's no reason for that gap yeah. afterwards. Why can't they just... I just don't think there's any reason. Yeah. The, the, Tories, the Tories have had six weeks <laughs> of a leadership detox. campaign. They don't need to yeah. carry on listening to speeches by people no. who are trying to improve their political standing. I just don't yeah. get it. I've been to these party conferences many, many times. They are a massive hoolie, yeah, they right? Are. And right yeah. now, with the worst cost of living crisis in decades, the idea of a bunch of politicians on the lash in seaside resorts, that doesn't fly for me. Can yeah. I just, full disclosure, I'm going to go to one... Of course you are! <laughs> of course you are! <laughs> you can have but, a go and you won't, and yeah, say... And the irony is you'll actually be lining up for those parties because they have to for security reasons. Yeah. Won't you? Yes, I'll be let's turn, look, let's turn. Isabel, you should not be on the lash. Let's get that clear. I will not be on the yes, lash. You will. I will be on the lash. Um,